two years of designing, building and sweating, the Friesian Solar Challenge finally starts at the end of June 2008. The second edition of the Formula One race on solar power is a success right from the start. There are teams from all over the world, amongst others Brazil and Poland. The total of 48 teams means a redoubling of the first race in 2006. There is not a solar boat race on this wide scale anywhere else in the world. In six days, the teams sail the route of the traditional 11-city skating tour. Along the 200-kilometer route, contestants are cheered on by spectators, who are mostly very impressed by the solar boats. Publicity-wise, the event is a huge success as well. Reports about the Friesian Solar Challenge are read all over the world. Participating isn't done easily. Teams have to endure different tests before they're allowed to enter officially. Boats are inspected thoroughly by the technical committee, which checks out safety measures especially. Maneuverability of the boat and the sailing capacities of the skipper are tested as well. And swimsuits are needed in a genuine swim test. During a special prologue, racing capacity of the boats are also tested. The race starts on Monday, June 23rd. The route is from Leowarden to Snake and about 25 kilometers long. The start of the race is delayed by four hours because of hard wind and rain in the morning. But then the moment has come. The Minister of Economic Affairs gives a starting sign. The goal of the race is to innovate the technique of electric sailing. With the motto, youth are our future, young people are made enthusiastic for sustainable energy. There is not a better place for it than in Friesland, the water sports province of the Netherlands. It's a race over uh, 220 kilometers and then over meerdere dagen bestaat nergens. En uh, als er ergens wel zo'n race gaat ontstaan, dat is alleen maar goed, dan ontstaat er nog meer competitie. Maar in Friesland zijn we begonnen en hier is iets dat is onevenaarbaar. Het is uniek. Er is maar één elfstedentochtroute in de hele wereld en die zit hier. We gaan hier een grote sprong maken met elektrisch varen, met nijdingen, met zinenergie, met nijden boorden die heel licht gebouwd worden. En dat kunnen wij in Friesland heel erg vroeger. We moeten niet al op het aantal mikken. We moeten ook proberen om het beter, nog sneller en nog vrijer te maken. Dus kwaliteit is natuurlijk minstens zo belangrijk als kwantiteit. Best example of the effect of the race is Cheers. An innovative company established by the winners of the 2006 race. They developed and marketed their own commercial solar speedboat. A second positive result of the first race is the election of Innovative Team Player Energy Transition 2007. This prize was awarded by different political youth organizations. They find the solar boat race a technological innovative event. The Friesian Solar Challenge can't exist without its sponsors. They take in a prominent position in all forms and ways, for example, at the start and finish line, but also at the website, on folders, flags and so on. The organisation of the Frisian Solar Challenge is a group of 120 people, many of whom are voluntary. Everybody is dedicated 200%. The Friesian Solar Challenge is an event aimed especially at young people. During the day, contestants are fully dedicated to the race and during the evening, involved in more relaxing business. Although the solar boat is always in their mind at all times. Nou, we zijn de zonnepanelen opnieuw aan het erop zetten. En omdat we de accu's hebben wij helemaal kapot gevaren deze week, dus we moesten nieuwe accu's erop zetten. En uh, ik denk twee uur dan zijn we wel klaar. A new part of this second edition of the Frisian Solar Challenge is a track and trace system. With a little transponder, every boat is traceable on the internet. Nou, we hebben iets van 15.000 bezoekers binnen al op een website West, hè, gedurende het evenement op Nota. Op Nota. En het zien je procent is uit Buitenland. Dus ze komen overal waai. Thailand, Amerika, Canada. Nou, ze zien van overal weer wat er gebeurt. A special element of the Frisian Solar Challenge is the Klunen, 
This takes place on the fifth day of the race and is perfect for generating publicity and attracting spectators. Clunan is a lot of fun to watch, but most competitors would like to skip this part of the race. Rules are simple. Time is stopped when the boat passes the rope. Then the waiting starts. Time starts running again when teammates start the clunan. With this, they need to haul the boats as fast as they can over two dams at different spots in the route. After a restart just outside of Leeuwarden, the finish is near. In the A-Class, the Hansa Hoche Skull from Groningen wins, and the Bob Sola team from Drachten win in the B-Class. In the C or Open Class, the Delta Lloyd Solar Boat team from Delft is first and fastest of them all. They make it in 12 hours, 5 minutes and 47 seconds. Hoe voelt dat nou? Heerlijk. Ja, ja we hebben uh, ja, hier een jaar aan gewerkt. En dus de hele week uh, nou, hebben we gewoon goed gepresteerd. En ja, het is toch wel de kroon op ons, uh, ja, op ons werk eigenlijk. De prizes zijn presented in the center of Leeuwarden. And a successful second Frisian Solar Challenge is celebrated. See you in 2010.